The Range Rover Autobiography is among the most expensive Range Rovers you can buy, and boasts some luxurious equipment as standard. This means that, along with the equipment that can be found on the Range Rover Vogue SE, like automatic climate control, a meridian sound system, and front and rear parking cameras, you also get a heated leather and wood steering wheel, larger alloy wheels and a panoramic roof as standard. The entry-level 3.0-liter TDV6 diesel offers a good balance of fuel economy and performance, and it's pretty smooth too. Although more expensive, the V6 diesel hybrid is both quicker and cheaper to run than the 3.0-liter TDV6 and offers more performance than most people will ever need. Both the 4.4-liter V8 diesel and 5.0-liter V8 petrol Range Rovers are faster still, but the running costs are undeniably high. The long wheelbase version of the autobiography is only available with the more powerful V8 petrol engine and the hybrid. It is slightly longer than the standard version, and so has improved rear passenger space. Good points The Range Rover Autobiography is a luxury car first and an off-roader second. It has a plush interior, boasts impressive levels of equipment, and road noise is almost non-existent. However, the Range Rover is still an excellent car when it comes to the rough stuff, giving it a versatility that class rivals like the Mercedes S-Class Saloon simply can't compete with. Considering the fact that the Range Rover is a large SUV, it is also quite enjoyable to drive too. Even the entry-level 3.0-liter V6 provides more than adequate performance for such a large car.